Um, do you know Upscale Hype, that website? All right, um, back in the day, I used to check that, you know, I think this was maybe prior to Instagram meme pages, right? Or Instagram fan pages, that's the thing now, right? So a prominent person in culture or in hip hop or in black culture or in African-American culture, yeah, for the most part, um, they'll have some sort of like fan account that either the label or the manager or the PR or the publicist will set up or maybe just some enthusiastic fans and they'll essentially post all the candid paparazzi shots that they don't want to post on their main feed, anything from, you know, a s smaller or lesser known acts that they've got on their feed as well, they've been tagged in, you know, that sort of stuff. So before that, the websites like, ups websites like Upscale Hype um, kind of were the forerunners or the four leaders in that sort of thing, right? because they were the only website that was kind of publishing images of African-American celebrities, you know, who wear nice clothes or wear expensive clothes for the most part, right? And it wasn't really any rhyme or reason why they're on the page, just kind of sharing them. And I guess at the time, Upscale Hype Guy was the only dude, I guess, on the net at the time, on his level, that kind of had some kind of inkling about what the brands were. Because for the most part, most of these you know, these sites that upload people's outfits don't have a foggiest clue what they're wearing unless it's the fucking Louboutin, right? They don't know anything about Marnie. They don't know anything about Yoji Yamamoto. Like, anything obscure, anything kind of outside the remit of, like, Raph Simmons and, I don't know, Machina or Versace, they have no clue. So it was quite interesting to see, oh, look, he kind of knew that that was a Jill Sander piece, da, 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 right? So he kind of lists some of the brands and have links to some of the shops. And, of course, he probably, I'm assuming, gets some affiliates, kickbacks and stuff like that. So, you know, it works out all the way good for him. But I kind of haven't really checked up on a site since then, I guess, you know, just move on. And I think he kind of got a bit boring and he started to upload a few of his own pictures. And then you, and then you see an image of him and you're like, mm, the dude seems like a bit of a dork, right? Um, don't get me wrong, nothing wrong with him at all. But, you know, just the way he carries himself and the overly matchy McMatchy thing, the beard, the poses, it's all a bit too convoluted, isn't it? Like, that's why I think it is the issue in general. I think, there, let me try and get a, video, a picture up of him. So I know who's, who's the upscale hype guy. I've always kind of said this about fashion and clothes anyway. Upscale hype uh, founder. See what you do that, right? Founder. Upscale hype founder. Upscale guy hype. Alan Onyea. That's his name, right? Okay, cool. So, Alan Onyea. Onyea. I'm assuming he's Nigerian, right? Alan Onyea. So, <clears throat> get him up in your screen. There's nothing that wrong with him, I guess, for the most part. But, you know, you can just kind of guess... The person's personality uh based upon what they look like which is unfair to say but hey you know we are a podcast we make these broad assumptions that's what makes this thing fun so that's basically what it looks like obviously a picture of tyler that isn't him but i kind of just assumed someone that spent this amount of time you know trimming their beard getting haircuts every what four days maybe maybe five isn't going to be the most brightest tool in the box in it and this video from uh two cool blog really did illustrate this it's a snippet from some show i'm guessing he's doing with other leading four figures or people behind the scenes in hip-hop i don't know they always have this this there's like an abundance of these shows where people sit down on couches in america and talk about stuff like right it just there's just blows of them and again i'm saying this whilst i'm sitting down talking but they seem to love this just talking about stuff thing i don't know what they achieve what's the purpose of them but there's always some kind of thing about this like oh we're gonna highlight all these people and it's just like you know you could just i don't know apart from one or two can you name any horses on there but anyway i thought this exchange was really, really funny so this is a good play for you this is karen civil talking about wanting to support um and wanting support and equ equality for women which you know the equality thing i got a point i got you know a problem with i think equality of outcome you can never really it's a dangerous kind of um position to take but equality of outcome no equality of opportunity yes equality of outcome no but anyway let's see what karen Hill has to say that's what's needed or we should do to fit in i'm not trying to fit in mm. so just understand if you're a light and you shine never try to dim it never and that yeah is there like anything that you know the men out there can do, whether it's being aligning with or supporting uh, listen to this one for women i think it's like the biggest thing is just support you know not being fearful tucking the ego and not saying you know i don't want a woman on my team or thinking she's lesser than just realizing we're equal we're just as talented and just fully supporting us just and is it me or does it seem like she was giving that Alan dude, the uh, upscale hype guy, a lot more looks as she's talking about this issue? So maybe, I don't know, we don't know the whole show. Maybe there was a bit of a spat beforehand or he said something that was a bit, you know, 
that set her off. But she seemed like she kind of had a bit of a point to prove, hey, by, by the way, you, motherfucker, you know, put some respect on my name. I know I'm a girl and I'm wearing a dress, but I'm not a dummy. I don't know what, I kind of got that feeling that like she already had a bit of spice for him. I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it. When the opportunity comes, speaking of... And also, this is a great opportunity if you're a dude and you're in this sort of situation. Just agree and move on. Even if you've got some kind of nuanced point you want to make, this is not the platform or situation for it. Because for sure, if they're going to... If they want to, if they want to make you look like an idiot or look like a bit of a buffoon, they'll do that. And especially if you're sitting across somebody like Karen Civil, who's, you know, she's a pretty smart and intelligent young lady in the scene, isn't it? You don't want to slip up and say something that's going to be misconstrued as misogynist, misogynistic in front of her. That's the wrong person to do it to and you know the point gets proven here up if you see injustices and certain things like that and that's really the most important part i'm, I'm a man i definitely look myself in the mirror a lot you know I, mean? no. and <laughs> I didn't say that <laughs> More ouch evaluate and look within oh, okay. but um I this guy man you just want to punch him in the face in it as if you know when someone like there is nothing worse than a guy that has a really um inflated sense of self and really really believes that they're like hot stuff there's nothing more um there's nothing more um there's nothing that's more of a turn off for dudes just as being a friend and someone because you know he's not a good hang you know this guy isn't going to be a good night it's not going to be fun at, at like a function no, not even a function at like a hole in the wall at like a dive bar he'll be obviously he'll be in his element when he's in those places where you have to go and say oh yeah my name's alan yeah yeah he's good in those kind of places but if you're just gonna rock up at a normal dive bar in a city that you're not really familiar with just to kind of gauge the vibe <coughs> make some contacts whatever he's not your man because he's definitely gonna just you know he's gonna be doing too much acting aloof all this nonsense just not really assimilating or blending in with the scenery but when it comes around people that have a bit of money have a bit of clout or have some sort of prestige or a name attached to them he's going to be all up in their grill you're going to see a whole different side of him you're like bloody hell this guy's a bit cucky isn't it all right you've never seen that dive bar but you definitely see that then especially in this kind of the back and forth he has it's like yuck I, I do believe that at the same time women need to give us some slack like we try mm -hmm. oh, like, yes. like we, slack how like, we try, like, we try. I think we we're gonna go next to him. We're gonna go next to him. The guy next to him is like, Alan, Alan, a boy, a boy, a boy. He's just still looking like, but you know, you know, as a guy, you know, you know, we give us some slack. Slack. Oh, I love I love Karen Civil's face as well <laughs> when she kind of blinks four or five times. So you go back here. <laughs> and look within. Oh, okay. but, oh come um, on. Oh, I, I do believe that at the same time, women need to give us some slack. Like we try. Karen Civil, look, 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 we try. Uh, I think. I think we're we're making more effort to, mm -hmm. to do better. I'm not <laughs> about to applaud you for trying. Oh, I, I love it. What you're supposed to do <laughs> as a human being and understanding like the climate and certain things we're in. Because you, at the end of the day, everybody here, you're you're all men of color. You understand like certain odds and things against you. Now, so why would you not help another person you see to your left or your right who may be going through that? And for women, it's much more worse. This, oh my God, man. What a buffoon. What a buffoon. Like, as if, if ever there was a phrase that could be attributed to this guy would be read the room or read the, read the climate, right? Like, imagine trying to bring up such a nuanced point in such a really poorly articulated way, right? He didn't really kind of um gather his thoughts or know where he really stood on the matter he kind of just blurted out give us some give us some give us some slight cuts and stuff like you're not on bloody joe budden podcast mate you're sitting in front of a woman jeremy when a woman comes into the room you have to kind of adjust <coughs> your position you have to kind of adjust the way you carry on that's that i think is actually a good marker of a good dude that's really good to hang out with um with you know with females or with people you're attracted to you have to have that person that's able to kind of you know I wouldn't say, yeah, maybe turn down the bro, turn down the lad, right? And then kind of turn up the gentleman. You have to kind of have to calibrate your energy. You don't want to, you don't want to kind of vibe out the girls and make them leave or, you know, or, or just kill the room with your over-passionate 
you know, commentary on the weekend's game, you've kind of got to tone it down a little bit. And this is the perfect situation, especially if you're being recorded for a show that I don't know what it's about, uh, uplifting or uniting blacks in America or something. You have to come a bit smarter. You have to come with a bit more tact. <coughs> especially someone like Karen Civil. Sorry for the call. Especially someone like Karen Civil, right? She's deaf. She's smart as a whip, right? Or whip as a, whip, she's whip smart, right? She knows, like, she's not going to allow some funny business to be spoken in front of her in her presence. Especially if what I assume is true, and this guy definitely said something prior that kind of already was like, "What? Well, what's this guy talking about? He sounds like a doof." And then probably said something prior as well to filming in a green room where he just comes across a bit dumb, and it's like, "God damn it, man!" But I'm not surprised, really, honestly. The, the, at the same time, that got kind of put off. What, checking upscale hype is when i kind of realized you know the the man behind it and i thought okay this guy spends not not that he spends so much time in front of the mirror but there is a certain character of a guy that you know is trying to outdress his girlfriend that kind of makes me think mm, i don't know man i don't know if, if you're if you're going to be a good hang you know what i mean you probably take yourself way too seriously and you know for the most part you know you just post images of celebrities wearing clothes you know, I don't know. Maybe there's more to him than that, but I thought that was hilarious, man. Karen Civil absolutely done these dance on that one. Oh, bloody hell. Banter upon banter upon banter.